Hey everyone, I'm Tashina from Logical Harmony. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Today I'm filming like a chatty get ready with me. I just thought it'd be fun to do one. It's been a while since I have and I'm trying to put them out more regularly. So if you guys are curious to see how I got this makeup look, just keep watching. All right, primer today, I'm mixing these two. This is kind of like my go-to combo for quite a while, the Too Faced Hangover and the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. I feel like this is basically like skincare as a primer and then the Wonder Glow adds a nice bit of dew, which since it's cold out, actually it's not super cold here, but it's cold at night and so my skin's on the dry side, it helps a lot. Do you guys ever think about and wonder, like during filming, what if you just made really creepy faces the whole time you're applying things, like you're like, I don't know if that's a creepy face. I'm looking at the camera, so I can't see it. But I often think about that. What if people just film videos like that? Would that be a thing? Like, do you think that'd be some weird sub niche on YouTube? Also, this lip balm smells amazing. It's the pumpkin spice one from Crazy Rumors. I love their lip balms, and I said on Instagram they were one of my favorites, and so they sent me some, which was amazing. Um, I've never gotten product from them before, and I was really excited. They have like a coffee line that I freaking love so much. They didn't send me any of the coffee ones, which is probably good because I got to actually try some different flavors, but I quite like this one. So I did post on Instagram for some prompts, and so far I have one question on there because I just did it. I should have been a little more prepared. But someone said, how long does it take you to remove your makeup and do your skincare routine? Um, it really depends. It kind of like depends on how much I'm wearing or what I'm wearing because certain things are just more difficult to remove but I like to give myself like a good, like maybe like half hour for all of that, if I'm being real, which I know seems like a long time, but it's because I also think it's really important to like work time for yourself into things. If I'm in a rush, like if we get home late and I just wanna go to bed or if I'm like up late working, I can do it in like five, 10 minutes if I need to. I just don't like to, you know what I mean? It's one of those things that you can do so fast or super slow and really just like enjoy each step in the process. Oh, I just got a hair in my eye. So I started a fresh tube of Born This Way, which I was so excited about, kind of shocked by. I can't remember the last time I used up a foundation because I do have ones I use really consistently, but because I self tan, I fluctuate a lot between different shades. And so it takes me a really, really long time to use up a shade, but I used one up and I've not had it even for a year. So kind of tells you how much back into Born This Way I am again. I wanted to do under eye primer. I'm just gonna put that on anyway. Why not? I feel like with makeup, the only rules are the ones that like we put into place. There are definitely best practices. There's definitely like things you probably shouldn't do, but really you do whatever works for you and that's fine. So what is going on in your guys' lives right now? How are the holidays treating you, the holiday season? It's been so crazy busy. I don't know, is it snowy where you are? Tell me what's new with you guys. Also, I really hope that in the upcoming year, First Day Beauty expands their concealer range because it's such a good formula and I feel honestly kind of guilty using it on camera because they only have seven shades, but I really like the formula and I like to show different products. I don't want to keep using the same things over and over in videos. Um, so I'm trying to switch things up more. Comment and let me know like your favorite concealer because I want to try more. I definitely, I don't know, I struggle with concealers. Like the majority of them do not impress me and I'm not into them. And there are a few that I just like love and absolutely love and I want to use all the time, but I understand that like for a lot of you guys that probably gets annoying to see me to use like the same concealer for forever. So I'm trying to switch things up more often. It's a little bit of a struggle, but I'll get there. Ah. So someone asked, how often do I clean my makeup brushes? Once a week or after each use? I accidentally just dumped loose powder all over the place. This is my palette now. Sorry, Hourglass. Um, so I wash my makeup brushes about every week-ish. I have a lot of makeup brushes because YouTube is what I do for a living. It's necessary to have a lot. I tend to wait as long as I can just because I'm lazy about it, but at least once a week I like to wash them. Sometimes I might go two weeks, in which case I have so many to wash and it takes a long time. I usually only use brushes a couple times. If I'm changing colors, like let's say I'm filming and I know, yeah, if I'm like filming, I will use those brushes 
typically only for that session of filming, unless it's something, well, if it's like a powder brush, I'll use it for other things, but like a blush brush, for example, or an eyeshadow brush, I try to only use it with one shade. And then if I'm gonna move on to something else, to me, it becomes a dirty brush. Um, so I might use it again later that week with the same like blush or eyeshadow, but I don't like to repeatedly use them. And so I cycle through pretty quickly. So I wash them, yeah, like once a week-ish, ish emphasis on ish because sometimes I do really like to go in and just wash them right away there are certain ones I do that with if it's a brush I don't have duplicates of and I love like this one from MOTD it's a uh, highlighting brush I will go and wash this basically after every use because I really like it and I want it clean so that I have like options for my highlight I really hate when a brush is dirty and you use it and it gets the wrong product on you. I also have this little thing. Um, I forget where I picked this up, but it's basically like, you can honestly buy these at Home Depot. It's like an air filter piece and you can just like rub your brush on it. It's not the best, but it works. Like in a pinch, it works to clean your brushes. I like it way more than like brush cleaning sprays. Those always make my brushes feel dirty to me and not clean. So yeah, like once a week-ish. How often do you guys wash your makeup brushes? Do you guys need reminders to do it or do you just do it? Cause I feel like some people really need those reminders. I, who was it? There was someone I met who didn't even know you were supposed to wash your makeup brushes. And if that was you, I'm sorry, no shade. I was just like shocked that that was like a thing. Cause I know people do need like reminders sometimes to do it, but it blew my mind that, I don't know, someone would just not know. Also, wouldn't your brush be so disgusting and like cakey and I don't know, maybe they just bought new brushes way more often and we're like, dang, this is ridiculous. How often I have to replace my brushes? I'm gonna mix these two shades. Do you guys have this Hourglass palette, by the way, the gold one? I freaking love it so much. I'm debating if I wanna get their holiday one. It looks kind of similar, but this is their first, a little heavy handed there. This is their first holiday palette this year that is vegan. So I kind of want to buy it to support that from them. I do think it's amazing that they're going to be fully vegan by 2020 because that's coming up soon. And Hourglass has been really aggressively switching things over. And since they said that all of their new launches have been vegan, which is amazing. Um, I really commend them for like really coming through with what they said they were going to do there. Like it's so crazy how many products they've been reformulating to be vegan. They're going, they're they're going for it pretty heavily. I love these palettes so much. I wanna do actually some of this glow. Just all over my collarbones. I thought I was in a way chattier mood. Let's see what other questions people might have. And I will move on to eyes. Ooh, what TV shows am I currently watching? Season three of The Good Place has been on, so I've been watching that. I do love The Good Place. That's about it. I watched like the first episode of The Connors because I was curious. People were quite angry about it. So I wanted to see what that was all about. If I'm watching stuff, it's usually stuff on YouTube. What have I been watching on YouTube? I haven't been watching as many makeup videos. I've been trying to like watch Okay, here. I've been just trying to watch like other stuff so that it feels like I'm not working all the time. I find that when I watch a lot of makeup videos on YouTube, sometimes it's really inspiring and motivating and other times it just feels like I'm working. I've been watching some Kendall Ray stuff. She does like true crime videos and conspiracy theory videos. I found out about her from an older Shane Dawson video. So I've been watching that, but that's pretty much it. Like I don't watch a ton of stuff. I've been like trying to take time every day to read and that has been really good for me. I'm really glad that I'm doing that, which I'm currently reading White Hot Truth by Danielle Laporte. If you guys have read it, let me know and comment and tell me what you're reading lately. I feel like that would be really interesting to find out about. I'm using Makeup Geek Shadows now. Just kind of my normal, my normal ones. Peach Smoothie Latte. This one's Chickadee Grandstand in the Spotlight. That's what I'm gonna use. This is like my go-to look because it is easy and I love Makeup Geek Shadows. I saw their rebranding and that they're like really, really paring down their offerings and I'm so nervous they're gonna take away some of my favorite shades. Like to the point where I'm wondering if I should order some just to be on the safe side, which is what I've done too. They put like slightly damaged ones on sale for really cheap and honestly, I have like six pans of Grandstand because it is like my favorite, my favorite eyeshadow ever. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm putting it on right now in case you are not familiar with it. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna use Cocoa Bear too. 
I've gone through so many pans of these specific Makeup Geek shades. So I don't know, I'm like, do I need, should I order them just in case? Like, what am I gonna do if they discontinue them? No one makes shadows like their foiled ones, literally. Like, not that I can find anyway. And it makes me so sad. So usually when I do this on Instagram, a lot of people ask questions that I have videos about. And so I'm trying to be better about like just replying to it in a story and linking the video so it's easy to find. Because honestly too, a lot of times I know the people don't necessarily follow me on YouTube either. So it's like I can give the answer here and it might be helpful to some people, but not, not the person who actually asked the question. Which is so interesting to me, like why are you asking a question for a video when you don't watch my YouTube channel? You're never going to find out the answer. Never. I've been like not feeling eyeliner for a while. I don't really, like I can't really explain why, I just haven't been. I also, if you guys have suggestions for like a good portable mirror, let me know. I really need a new one for filming. I kind of hate this one. It was like the best of the round mirrors that I could find, but I want something bigger. I want something that's just like a little easier. But yeah, I feel like I'm just, I'm ready for something better. I'm ready for something different. I'm gonna use this other one too on my waterline because why not? There's so much cat hair today. It's driving me crazy. I don't know if I like that, but I'm just gonna roll with it and pop on mascara. So a lot of people have been asking me about Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and how to keep it from flaking. And I talked about this recently, I think in an Instagram Live, maybe it was in another. That is what happens when you talk while you're doing makeup. Um, maybe it was in another video though, but a tip that I have, if it flakes on you, which I've only ever had one tube that flaked, um, so I don't think it's something that like, in my experience, is super common, I don't know. But you can lock it in with like one coat of another mascara and that will like fully hold it in place. So put on as much of this as you like and then go in with a second mascara. I like the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes and then just do a quick coat over it. Um, sometimes I do use this on my lower lashes over the Too Faced one or in place of because I have noticed that with certain concealers, if I don't set them extremely well, this will kind of like melt a little bit with them. Like it's not a good look. I don't, I don't like it. I'd rather do that than like have super powdery under eyes. And it's not consistent. It's just sometimes with certain concealers. A little more because why not? Why not, why not? What's your guys' current favorite mascara? Tell me like some of your current favorite products. Just comment and be like, right now I'm freaking in love with this. Fill in the blank. Um, so I'm gonna use this lip cream from Peony Cosmetics. They sent me a bunch of different stuff, some makeup and some skincare. This is the first thing that I've used. It's the Lips of an Angel Matte Lipstick in Stockings and I really like it. Uh, it's nice and like creamy. It's not too creamy. But it kind of reminds me of like if you had like a jumbo lip liner, basically. Does it totally match? No. Okay, I was like, is this literally the same color as my eyeliner? But it's not. It's slightly, slightly different. That is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm just, I'm excited to hear feedback from you guys on how you've been, what some of your new favorites are. Just like, let's get chatty in the comments down below. So leave comments. I will respond to all of them and I will see you next time.